we will look at sheep kidney today we will start with the whole kidney then we will look at internal structures and then the distribution of blood vessels here is a whole kidney and you can see that it has that typical kidney bean shaped structure prominent from there this is the ureter before actually we could see that kidney remember there is the renal capsule we have to remove it first then we will be able to look interior Here is a whole specimen. You can distinctly see the bean shaped structure, what is called the kidney bean. Now, if we take a cross section, we can see inside, but for this particular specimen, we can mostly see distinctly our two areas. Here is the cortex. Here's the medulla, renal cortex, renal medulla, to be more specific. Here we have two cross sections to look inside. First, we will start with the regions. The outer part is the renal cortex. Inside is the renal medulla. Within the medulla, we can distinctly see these are renal pyramids. At the very base of the pyramid, there is renal papilla. Region in between the pyramids at the renal column. Inferior to the papilla is the renal sinus. Then the small structure start merging to become larger. So we will see minor calyx, major calyx, and then the renal pelvis. So we will um, look at other section here you will be able to see the renal pelvis more distinctly which will then be continued as the ureter In this segment, we will look at the blood distribution inside the kidney. First, the branch of the artery, renal artery, that goes inside the kidney. Here is the ureter. If you look carefully, you will be able to see the stretchability, elasticity for the artery. So once the artery goes inside the kidney, the very first branch comes off, that's the segmental artery. Now, as the <clears throat> stains are not that distinct, it, you might not be able to differentiate the segmental artery, but that's the first branch from the renal artery. Then the artery branches in between the renal pyramid which will be the interlobar artery and if you look carefully there is a distinct mark in between the cortex and medulla right around that boundary line the distribution of the blood vessels those are called arcuate artery and there is arcuate vein parallel to that as well. 
branching off from the arcuate artery. These are called the interlobular artery or cortical radiate as these are kind of radiating in the cortex, cortical radiate. Here you can faintly see the interlobar artery and this is the region for the arcuate artery. Now we will track back with the veins for the other section. The stain is much better with the vein and remember this is the whole part of the systemic circulation. That's why the arteries are red in color and the veins are blue in color, but of course the colors have been added separately to make those structures distinct. So as I mentioned to you, tracking back, so there will be the cortical radiate vein or interlobular vein. Here, the arch shape, you will be able to see that more distinctly than the previous section. So these are the arcuate vein will be merging to become interlobar veins in between the renal pyramids. And then finally, all of these will merge together to come out of the kidney. That will be the renal vein. So that's the whole branches of the circulation inside the kidney.